All right, guys, so let's talk about the section 1.6, which is application of linear functions. Let me zoom a little bit, and let me give you the first advice. One of the first, first advice I want to give you is about how to read. You need to read slowly. Read slowly, slowly, okay? That is very important. This is how you are going to be able to understand what the problem is telling you. Second advice I'm going to, I'm going to give you is draw a picture of your problem. You need to draw a picture of your problem. Drawing a picture of your problem is going to be a, a second very important thing to do in order for you to have a spark of an idea. Okay, visually, uh, it's going to talk you more to have a picture of a rectangle, for instance, for the example number one, instead to trying to picture this rectangle in your head. Uh, if I think about uh, uh, over, uh, over um, uh, advice, I will write them along the way. So, let me read the first example for you, the way I think you should read the, the problem. The length of a rectangle is one centimeter more than twice its width. If the perimeter is 200 centimeter, find the dimension of the rectangle. As you can hear, I try to read slowly and put emphasis on words that I think are important. Uh, obviously, you're not obligated to read with my French accent. So now, let's do the second advice I gave you, which is trying to represent a picture of your problem. So obviously, what I want to do is I want to represent a rectangle. This rectangle is defined with a width and a length. And they are telling me that the length of a rectangle is one centimeter more than twice its width. So that means my length is equal to two times the width plus one. Okay? Two times the width plus one. When I'm done with that, I need to think about what is the question. Find the dimension of my rectangle. Well, what is the dimension mean? That means I need to find the value of L and the value of W. Well, I got one equation. Uh, the first equation I have to solve this problem is L equal 2 times W plus 1. And I know that the uh, second equation has to be about the perimeter. But they're not giving me the perimeter. So the third advice I'm going to give you is about... you must know definitions, law, etc. In that case, you must remember that the perimeter is equal to two times the length plus two times the width. Once you have the second equation, you will be able to find the value of L and W, and remember that, in order for you to find two variables, you need to have at least two equations. You got the equation number one and you got the equation number two. You got two equations, two variables. You should be able to find this um, variable L and W. Obviously, P is not a, a um, something you need to find because they are telling you P equals 200. Okay, so you have two equations with two variables. Let's take a look at the example number two now. As you can see in the example number two, you have already the uh, representation of your, of your problem. You have already a picture drawn about your problem. Let me read for you the example number two. And if I have to read the example number two, it would be, how much pure acid should be mixed with five gallons of a 25% acid solution to get a 40% acid solution. So, basically they are telling me 
that how much pure acid, if it is a pure acid, it has to be a 100% acid solution. And how much? Well, I don't know. This is what I'm going, I'm going to use. X. Um, X. And then this is going to be mixed. Mix has been translated with mathematically by, uh, the, by a plus. Mix it with a second solution. This time I know that the second solution is 25%, 25%, and it's going to be equal to a, to get, so equal to a new solution, 40% acid, because I'm getting, by adding X pure acid plus 5 gallon of 25% of a 25% acid solution, I end up to have, at the end of the day, X plus 5. And when I'm done with that, I'm done. I have my, my problem is, is solved at 90%, because now the only thing I need to do is try to, to um, multiply my 100%, which is 1, times X plus 0.25 times 5 equal... 0.4 times x plus 5. And then I just need to solve my equation like usually I do, okay? By distrib distributing my 0.4 and then, com and then combining all the x uh, together and find the value of x, okay? All right. You will have to uh, also uh, solve problem what we call direct variation. This is a definition you need to remember perfectly well. And uh, let's jump on the example number uh, three. And this ex example number three, well, what do we have? They are telling you that the volume of a box vary directly. As soon as they are telling you vary directly, that means you are supposed to have a y equal k by x. But obviously, the variable are not y and x, but it's going to be, in that case, for instance, v for the volume, equal k time, w for the width. So, as you can see, you have to name the variable that you are going to use uh, when they are talking about volume. It's usually v for volume and w for the width. Once you're done with that, the qu you need to look at the question. And the question is, find the volume when the width is 7. So, if you want to find the volume, you have two unknown variables. The first unknown variable is going to be V, that you are looking for, and K. You don't know K, all right? The only variable they are giving you right now is 7. So, if you want to solve this equation with two variables, you need to have another equation. And this other equation is going to come from the information they are giving you right there. They are telling you that the volume is 40 cubic meter when the width is 5. And that is going to help you to find k. So basically the idea is, if I want to find the volume, I need to know k and I need to know w. I know w, I don't know k. So, from my formula, I'm going to express k as v divided by w. Are they giving me a value of volume and a value of the width connected to each other to find k? Yes. They are telling me that when the volume is 5, uh, is um, 40, the width is 5. That is helping me to find the, va the value of k. And now, when I have the value of k, I got k, I got w, I can find the value of v, and v is going to be 56. Okay? So I let you solve the example number one and the example number two. Very, very nice example. Same uh, idea that, that you have seen already. Direct variation, same idea, but this time we are talking about the distance of a spring stretch very directly as the weight attached to the spring. 
So the only thing I want to do with you is to say that the distance is going to be defined with the letter D and the weight attached is going to be defined with W. That's the weight. Okay? And they are telling you that the distance vary directly. So D equal K time time what? Time W. Alright? And the question is well, you know what? Let me, I'm going to do the problem for you, and you will do some in class anyway. So, the problem is, how far will be a 35-pound weight stretch the same string? So, the question is, find D. Okay. To find D, I need to know K, and I need to do W. W is 35 pounds. K, they're not giving, tell, they're not telling me what is K when, when W is 35. So, I need to find K. Well, to find K... I'm going to use this formula and express k by itself. k is supposed to be d divided by w. Alright? So now, from this formula, I know that when d equals 8 inches, the weight associate is going to be 15 pounds. So I know now the value of k. k is going to be equal to 8 divided by 15. And if I know K, I can calculate D because it's going to be 8 over 15 multiplied by 35. Alright? And if I divide by 5 to simplify because I don't need my calculator, I'm going to have 7 by 5 and then I simplify 5 with 15 which is going to give me 3 and I'm going to have 56 divided by 3. I'll let you do the problem number four, all right, as well as the problem number five. Please focus on what is the form, what is the uh, variable you are looking for, and then try to isolate this variable. In this both example four and example five, you have no calculation to make. Just find the expression of the variable you are looking for. Now, the uh, practice problem, again, you will do this practice problem only if you feel uncomfortable what we, have, we, what we will have done in, uh, in, in class. Thank you.